We're just gonna fight. I mean, <laughs> this is with the drama I live for. Oh. Hey guys, it's Kay, and welcome to the first video on my new channel, The Kay Show. This channel is just for games <laughs> um, and gaming related activities and all kinds of fun things. So um, I am Kay. I have another channel on YouTube that is called The Organized Soprano. If you came from that channel, welcome. Uh, glad to have you over here. Please stay and watch some Sims 4 drama. So today we are playing The Sims 4. Let's go ahead and load our game here. So the first place uh, I'd like to go is going to go to Willow Creek because I am going to play a real housewives of Willow Creek let's play so I don't know about you guys but I love to watch the real housewives of Atlanta the real housewives of um, DC their DC is canceled now the real housewives of Potomac which is where my parents live and well they don't live in Potomac they live around that area um, in Maryland so I kind of like live for the drama so in the spirit of the real housewives i have created four very successful families um, for my real housewives of willow creek let's play so here is willow creek this is the og sims 4 neighborhood if you're not familiar with the sims there are a number of other neighborhoods uh, including oasis springs newcrest which is basically an empty neighborhood magnolia promenade which i'm not really I'm still not sure what that is. Um, Windenburg, Send My Shuno, which is the city, Brindleton Bay, which is the beautiful uh, cats and dogs neighborhood, and um, Forgotten Hollow, which I do not have because I do not like vampires. <laughs> Just, I want some of the build and buy mode stuff in here, but I don't. I don't want vampires in my game. I just, I just don't. Anyway, let's go back to Willow Creek. And I will introduce you to our four families who will be starring in the series. There are a number of families that I have put in the game that are not going to be playable characters, um, but they're part of the game, like these people over here, um, the Norrises, and like these people over here. Well, the pancakes, I actually, um, I actually edited um, Eliza Pancakes because I just thought that she was looking a little bit frumpy. Um, so she looks better now, and apparently they have twin babies I made them try for baby and I guess that they did so well that they just did two babies which is awesome um oh I didn't mean to play oh no okay first of all it's 5 a.m. Uh, Bob pancakes is getting some he's getting some food what's he making if he's making pancakes I'm gonna die what's he doing oh no he's making BLT so what's the deal with this the children Jacelyn J J is that Jacelyn? Jason? Jace? It's Jason, but spelled very different. Jason and Leticia. Okay, so they have two twin babies named Jason and Leticia. This is Eliza Pancake. She looks a lot better than she did originally. I just edited her a little bit. I put, you know, I put, I gave her some eyelashes and some makeup, and I changed her hair. I think she looks a lot better. And there's Bob. She made all of these hamburgers and you had to bring out a BLT. I mean, there's at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight burgers and you made your own BLT. What is life? Okay, we're back. I kind of like the idea of bringing the pancakes into our story. Um, and there's a single mom and two kids that live here as well, as long as well as a, um, a uh, family that live here as well. They are um, a dual husband and husband family with a little toddler. Uh, and I guess they have a dog too. I downloaded them from the gallery. I don't really know much about them, but I think they're cool. So I moved them into this neighborhood. Uh, oddly enough, I moved them into this neighborhood with like only one house in here. This, the rest of this is just um, like retail lots and it's a the cat cafe, which I can't wait to go to. There is a vet clinic and a church here, and also a library, a ginormous library. So anyway, here are the families. This is the Clayton family. This is um, a really awesome family that I created that are probably my favorite. 
Um, so this is Morgan Clayton. She is going to be one of the greatest chefs that ever lived. She loves to cook and she loves to be with her family. She is just an all around nice person and beautiful Sim. She is gorgeous. Um, she's married to Brady. Brady is kind of a nerdy Sim, um, but she and Brady are very much in love. Uh, Brady is a little bit squeamish. He's not like the most, you know, macho of Sims, but he's really ambitious and he loves his career as a, I think he's an IT person, I think. I'm not sure. Anyway, they have two children. They have a teenage son named Cash and a, a younger daughter named Haley. Haley is really spunky. She wants to be a musician when she grows up and Cash isn't really sure what he wants to do. Um, but Cash is interested in both girls and boys at this point, is not really sure which direction he'd like to go. If he's bi, if he's straight, he doesn't know. Uh, but that is the Clayton family. They are pretty much the perfect uh, family. They live in this house right here. This is a house I downloaded from the gallery. I did not build this house. Uh, next door to them are the Patels. The Patels are probably one of my favorite families. This is Melanie Patel. She is absolutely like 100% drop dead gorgeous bombshell. Um, she is a professional comedian and she is quite the prankster. She's a little bit of a sassy pot. So I think she's gonna get into trouble with some Sims that are gonna take some things she says the wrong way. Uh, along with being a comedian, she is a little bit of a snob, but she's also very good and cheerful. Her husband is Dev. Dev is extremely handsome. Um, Dev is a really good looking Sim. He is an archeology span scholar, which is a career I haven't messed with uh, ever. So he is actually in the beginning of his career. So we're gonna have to go to Salvadora to go and advance some of his skills. So that'll be a fun adventure. Um, so we're gonna have to take some vacations to Salvadora. They don't have any children at this time. They just have one little very wired Jack Russell Terrier named Bailey, who is a troublemaker, playful, and he's also very active. So they've got a lot on their hands, a lot on their plates right now. They may be working on a baby, but not sure. They really like living the high life in this beautiful, beautiful house up here. Over here next door to them are the Coustiers. The Coustiers are an interesting bunch. So this is Corbin Coustier. He is a little bit of a heavyset guy. He's a glutton, so he loves his eats and he's a romantic and he's a little bit of an erotic sim. <laughs> they just changed the name of this trait to uh, from insane to erratic. Um, but I can say with utmost certainty that Corbin has some issues, okay? He, re he has some issues. But um, he's very successful. He's a success for some reason. He's a successful politician <laughs> with issues. Hmm. Anyway, I'm not going to say anything more about that. Uh, he is married to the much younger, much more superficial Olivia. Olivia is a young adult, while Corbin is an adult. So they their age difference is quite substantial. Probably, um, probably 20 years. Olivia just wants to marry for money. She's just interested in money. She saw this very successful politician who was up and coming. She snatched him up and had a baby and is now living the high life in the beautiful Willow Creek neighborhood. The funny thing about them is, oh, they have one child named Hillary who is actually super adorable. She is a wild child. Um, the funny thing about Olivia and Corbin, just because she married for money, uh, doesn't mean she doesn't actually love Corbin, which I've been playing some in the background just to set all of the scenes up here. Uh, Olivia is in love with Corbin, and I, I don't really understand like how she's materialistic and sort of a good person at the same time, but she does love Corbin. Corbin loves Olivia, even though she's a mean sim and a snob and materialistic, she is, she loves her some Corbin, so. There could be some drama though with Corbin because Corbin is just, um, he's not making friends anywhere he goes. He's definitely got some issues. Okay, so over across the river here are the Westbrooks. The Westbrooks are your very, very conservative Ivy League young couple. The uh, husband is a doctor, brand new doctor named Ian Westbrook. He and his wife, Celeste, went to the same 
a private high school. They went to the same Ivy League college and they are high school sweethearts, college sweethearts. They love each other very much. They are the number one conservative, a very buttoned up couple in Willow Creek. And uh, because of that, they're a little bit judgmental of everyone else, even though Celeste and Morgan are pretty good friends at this point. Um, they did have some bad interactions with Olivia and Corbin. So um, there's going to be some drama between Celeste and this family, the Coustays over here. The Westbrooks have two children. They have a younger daughter named Elena and they have a toddler named Kyler. Uh, they, I don't know where, why, why Kyler has red hair, where he got that from, but you know, we like a good ginger. He is adorable and I love them both very much. I actually love all of the children in this game. I think they're adorable, um, but Elena and Kyler are good to go there. So the Westbrooks are very successful. So, and, uh, they are also very snobby. <laughs> um, that is that's at for our that's at for our four families in the game. So I have renovated Willow Creek a little bit to include some more exciting lots than the ones that came with the game. There's some really nice restaurants. There's some gyms with spas. There's a nightclub, and you can actually get married in this lot as well. So let's go ahead and join our game. Um, who should we join first? We're gonna check out the Coustiers and see how they're doing. All right, here we are in the Coustier household. It is six in the morning. Olivia is still dressed up from dinner. <laughs> I actually uh, recorded an episode before this one, but it just didn't turn out well. In that episode, I will recap what happened. Olivia and uh, Corbin went to a very fancy restaurant and ran into Celeste and Morgan who were there having dinner. Uh, they had never met Celeste before and Celeste immediately got into an argument with Olivia about politics. So Olivia and uh, Celeste probably don't have that great a relationship. Actually, they have some friendship. So that's cool. At least she doesn't, you know, there's no hate yet. So it's six in the morning, she's still in her dress, and I, I don't know why she's actually having chips in the morning. The, oh, no, she's having cheese crackers, excuse me. They must be amazing. I don't know why she's, I mean, she's at home. She shouldn't be dressed up like this. Let's check to see what little old Hillary is angry. Why is she angry? Oh, she's hungry. This is little Hillary, she's so cute. Um, where is crazy dad? So Corbin is grabbing a hot dog. Well, you know what? Hillary can actually come down. I wonder if she can come down the stairs. I don't know if she can come down the stairs quite yet. She can go ahead and grab a serving. Is Oh, Corbin is late for work. Corbin, go ahead and go to work, buddy. I'm sorry. Has he done anything he needs to do for work? Corbin, Corbin is dressed so terribly. Like, what is his deal? Um, oh, he hasn't worked in it. Oh, he has to successfully promote cause. Well, how do I do that? He has a protest. He can protest for no sim left behind. I don't really think he's going to have time to do that, but I mean, whatever. Is how's Hillary doing? Can she Oh, she can't go down the stairs. That's an issue. And we have the butler just hanging out there just reading. I hate that so much. Okay. Mom is going to have to actually Oh, she's already on it. Oh, good girl, mom. Good girl, Olivia. She's the what? Wait, what's going on? Oh, he's protesting, and he's protesting in the house. Is that really gonna? Oh, it's not actually doing anything. What? Protest. Okay. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay, Corbin. I don't think this is doing anything. So I think we probably should have talked to another sim. But I mean, <laughs> it's so funny. All right, can you go to work though? Okay, can you could probably put the sign down also. Okay, bye, Corbin. Why is he sad? Oh, cause no one had. Well, you were inside. What is anyone supposed to do? Now he's got laundry all over the floor. Go to work. Okay, see ya. All right, what is happening up here? Oh, she's got food. 
Oh no, she threw her food on the floor. Oh, I can't believe it. Wait, can she discipline her for, for that behavior? I'm on the wrong sim. Cross dreams. I don't think you want to do that. Uh, teach to say sorry. Did you eat any of your food? Loof, Emka. Oh, she's got to go to the bathroom now too. Oh no. She's sad because her, her her unstable dad went to work. Okay. Why is the butler there just chilling? Can we get it? You know what? Okay. We're going to take care of some business. Okay. First, first we're going to poly train Hillary and then we're going to then we're going to get into some trubs. Honkin? Please. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Musti. Oh. oh, she liked that. Bahira Ruthay. Yell at him. Skizna Plushie's a brief. Avenue Smishy. Brugie. All right. Can you, can you ask him to do something? Can you clean? We hate the butler. Clean something. Clean a dirty object. What's she gonna do now? Oh, she's gonna yell at him again. Debowitz. <laughs> She is, she is so excited. Let's see. <laughs> Joyful mean spiritedness. Spiritedness. Okay. So now he's very angry. What do you think? Do you think? Do you think we can just like? Do we? Can we continue the meanness? Wow, they have a lot of washers and dryers. I mean, is that necessary? <laughs> and he still hasn't picked up his stuff. Uh, Yell at him again. Why not? Bahira Ruthay. Skizna Plushie's a brief. Alright, here's where here's where it all here's where it all pops off. We're just gonna fight. I mean, she's already mean. She oh yeah, she's getting to her first fight. This is with the drama I live for. Alright, get him! Get him! Oh no, you gotta get him. You have to win. You have to win. Come on, Olivia. Come on. Come on. I love that they're fighting and the baby's just like... The bit. Whoops. The baby's just sleeping right here. Like, just peacefully, just sleeping. <laughs> what? She got beat up? Oh, I'm really, I'm really upset. Oh, they now despise each other. Well, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. You know what? Because you know why? You are fired. You're totally fired. You're fired. Get out. Get out of my house. You haven't done anything. Fire. I can't believe she got beat up. Look at look at they despise each other. I'm surprised we couldn't actually uh, make him pass away. Okay, bye. Get out. Bye. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Okay, so obviously we have to hire another butler, which is super annoying. She's got to use the bathroom, but we'll we'll make we'll make her do that first before we uh, before we go potty. All right, we're gonna hire another butler because we got into a fight with our current butler. Because that's the drama. All right, go ahead and use the toilet. What? He got promoted? <laughs> he didn't do anything. Well, congratulations, Corbin. <laughs> My man. All right. Good for you. Let's see. He got a um, $172 bonus, debate, politics, interaction, and uh, 10 extra dollars an hour. Wow. Who's this? She looks real. She's a teen? She looks really angry. Why is she so angry? Let's introduce ourselves. All right, promote your cause. There we go. We need to do that because that might help us get promoted again. Oh, he needs level skill, charisma. Oh, let's maybe maybe let's try and like brighten the day. <laughs> All right. We got her on our side. And then we're going to brighten her day. Let's see. How much till his... Oh, Charisma's almost at... Almost at two. Fantastic. I think we're almost there. 
How finesse. Corbin's crushing Whoa. it. Still no roll. Corbin's crushing it. As much crap as I talk about Corbin, he is crushing the game. All right, why don't you, can you just finish, finish that, finish that up? Because we need, I mean, we really need another raise here. Where are you going, Corby? No, no, no. No, no, bro. Okay, there we go. Good. There you go. Oh, I hate when the game does this. There we go. All right, fab. All right, you can stop doing that. Have a little nappy poo. Because I think tonight, I think tonight we need to go out uh, and celebrate Corbin's promotion. And we're going to invite some of the other housewives. There's our new, uh, here's our new little butler, butlerette. Let's see. Who is this? Erica Nakamura. Well, she looks promising. Fab. Okay. So let's go ahead and Corbin can get a little nappy poo. Oh, wow. With, uh, oh, my God, I can't find the bedrooms in this house. With Olivia. Is this not their, this is not their bedroom. I haven't, I downloaded this house and it's kind of cool, but it's not really, I don't think the design of it is that great. <laughs> it's just, it lacks, um, it lacks some cohesiveness. Like this is a random, like, is this a, whose bedroom is this, you know? <laughs> And who's, whose bedroom is this? Oh, Olivia's up. Oh, and she's still dazed. What can we do? Well, we, we already took a nap. You want to take another nap, darling? Have another nap. There, work it out. All right, let's go to the Skyfall Lounge, if we can click on it. Can we, can we, can we click on it? What's happening? Cafe and restaurant? No, Skyfall Lounge. Yes, that's where we're going with all of the gang. Hopefully, maybe we'll run into the Patels there. That would be really fab. I would love that. All right, we are, why is he angry? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> He's angry because Flarn <laughs> from Erratic Trait. Blursh, Meshalub, Blursh. Wow. Okay, Corbin, Corby, I mean, it's, I know you have issues. All right, well then, okay. Olivia is hungry. Why don't you go ahead and give a little greeting to Celeste while you're at it. Don't mock her outfit. Don't imply her mother's a llama. She wants to just like, maybe you just ask her about her day. Maybe start out, start out light. Where Corby, where's you? Corby going? Magora. And maybe you can talk to Morgan as well. You can just give her, oh, you don't even know her. Friendly introduction. And you can also talk to um, Brady, do, do a little introduction. So, you know, make sure that you're being nice. Try to be nice. So I know that you're hungry. Look at that face. <laughs> oh, there goes Morgan. What is Corbin doing? Corbin, my man, what do you... Watch. Oh, is he playing? He's playing music. Oh, now he's happy. He's inspired. Still kind of angry, um, but inspired. Why don't you go get yourself some foodies? Because I know there's food here. This place. Wow, this place is amazing. So she's going to introduce herself to Brady. Brady Clayton. We'll see how she does. We'll see how she goes. She's looking kind of like she could flirt a little bit. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Lobo. I mean, huh. she is very charming, little Olivia. Bethany oh, he came over to sit closer her. to her. Wow. Wow. So What's she gonna do? Is she gonna get a snack? Or she's gonna buy a snack because she's starving? Or a bay. In Manzo. Her voice cracks me up. Can't what are they talking Mil about? Shaba. She's talking about herself, of course. And now she's talking about gaming. How cool is that? He's Oh, they're like nerding out. That's awesome. All right, well, why don't you also introduce yourself to little Morgan? We'll do a friendly introduction to her. Uh, what is Corbin up to, my man? He is having some chips by himself at the, uh, at the bar. Wow, and here comes Morgan. So hopefully, uh, hopefully Olivia will be down in just a moment to introduce herself to Morgan as well. 
They're still here. Oh my gosh, is Celeste taking a nap in a club? What's this guy doing? Oh boy. Well, why don't you have a little chat with Celeste, who you kind of got in a fight? She always wants to yell at her. Why don't you just propose a crazy scheme? All right, and then go downstairs and talk with more. Wait, what? Are you joking? He's asleep in the hot tub. Actually, much more interestingly, why don't you come on down here? And let's go ahead and get in. All right, she's getting in. She's chilling. She's having a good time. She's still really hungry, so we got to get her some food. But you know what, though? Let's wake him up. And since she's trying to seal the deal here. Oh, my gosh. Wake up. Wake him up. Wake him up. Can she not wake him up? Oh, he woke up. Okay, good. Oh, Reepsta. You know what we got to do in here? We're going to try for baby in hot tub. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> what? All right, here they go. Yeah. Oh, it's going to steam up. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. I didn't need to see all that. Oh boy! Wait, are they woohooing for the first time? Oh my goodness, I had no idea. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh wow, it's exciting. Meanwhile, we got drink tricks over here. That's pretty spectacular. Wow. All right, these guys are done trying for baby, so hopefully we have a little baby come. Oh, what? What is happening? He's just chatting with her. So they're just chatting in the hot tub together, and Olivia's super hungry. So maybe we. Oh, it's two nineteen in the morning. Oh man! Oh my gosh, Corbin has worked in six hours. So maybe let's let's just let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. There was really no drama with the housewives. Let's just let's just get out of Dodge. Let's go home. All right, let's solve some problems. Let's go to the bathroom and then go to bed. And Olivia, oh, she's making grilled fruit. Is this grill inside or outside? It's outside. Wow. Okay. Oh no, it's inside. No, it's outside. <laughs> I don't know what my house looks like. I didn't. I did not build this house. I haven't really checked this house out a lot. Um, it's a little bit. I might need to go in and redesign a little bit, but um, you know, it works for now. It's kind of a cool house. So they've got this grill outside. She's making some grilled fruit because she's starving, um, and then she's probably going to go to bed. So we've started with the most one of the most problematic families, I think, in in the game. Wow, she's got a really skinny. She's got like no. Her, she's skinny <laughs> and with big bazungas. So um, I hope that she is, well, oh, well, we got to take a pregnancy test and see what the results are for sure. All right, so he's gone to the bathroom. He's probably, he's probably going to go to bed and then he's probably going to get some of this grilled fruit. Are you going to eat the grilled fruit or what? Look at her thinking about money. That's right. That was my dog playing with a toy in the background. All right, that looks horrible. Who, I mean, does, I mean, maybe grilled peaches are awesome, but like, what is this? It looks like grilled apples and bananas. I mean, she likes it, so I mean, I'm not gonna knock it too much, but I mean, personally, <laughs> I don't know if I would like grill fruit at three in the morning, but that's just me. Or now it's four in the morning. Okay, darling, as soon as you finish, we're gonna have you take a pregnancy test. 
Where is the kitchen? Oh, maybe I can just have her put this in her inventory and then we can put it in the refrigerator. All right, my love, it's time for a pregnancy test. All right, we will see if our try for baby has worked. Is this also solve her like bladder? Oh, <gasps> she's not pregnant, you guys. And she's sad. Oh, that is sadness. Oh, I'm sorry, Olivia. Oh, is he sad as well because of that? It's just, oh, she's sad. This is the saddest thing. Oh, no. Oh, well. Well, maybe next time. <laughs> All right, you guys, I think I'm going to end the episode here. Um, let me know what you guys want with the storyline. And if you guys want me to play a different, well, we're going to play a different family next family next time. I think next time we will go and see what the Claytons are up to. Um, so we will see if they are, you know, getting stuff done as well. But for now, oh, she's so sad. It's the saddest thing. Look at she's like got a sad face in her sleep. Oh, the poor thing. She wanted another baby. Oh, all right. Well, anyway, that's it for this <laughs> this episode of The Real Housewives of Willow Creek. Let me know what you think of the storyline. Let me know what you think of the characters in this episode. I will be um, probably releasing episodes maybe once a week. I don't know how often I can do it, but um, I'm really excited to play, and I love these characters so much. Oh, she can finally now climb the stairs. Thank goodness. Um, anyway, I'm going to end this episode now, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.